A forty-two here. What's the difference between the universe what? What? No. and the German Autobahn? Get away! Stop! The universe has a speed limit. Oh, my life. Why don't you just stick a flag in it, Aaron? P.S. You can send me any money for your pun on your 42 series anytime you like at the link below. Hi, everybody. It's Retro Robbins here, and I'll be back shortly. Well, I just beat him up. No, we like him. 42, good YouTube channel. Please check him out. So, on with today's show, everybody. It's uh, going to be a special again. We're going to, and if you haven't guessed it already, decide which one is the best. Monty is great. IDST, which is something we used to do as kids. Lifty stride still true. Like, Retro Robbins is stupid. IDST. Uh, oh, back myself into a corner there, haven't I? Okay, have I got any news for you today? Well, that is a good question. Have I got any news for you today? Uh, yeah. If you haven't backed the Kickstarter, Spectrum Next Issue 2, well, guess what? You're running out of time. In fact, from when this video was uh, released, it had a week to go. Which means, can I move on? Quick, you don't want to miss out on this. It's brilliant. Yeah. So do we know anything else about the Kickstarter? Should we have a look how many backers are there? Shall we? Shall we? Of course we shall. We always do, don't we? And for those of you that has been on a different planet, my name is Retro Robbins. Welcome to my show. And uh, if you like the content that I do and you've got any comments, please leave me a comment. I'll always try and reply to you, of course. And uh, any ideas of games you'd like to see me review? Also leave in comments and I'll have a look through and see uh, see what I think of them. My rating system is not a percentage, it's marks out of 10. Oh yes, that's me. Ah, okay. So, today, which is a Wednesday here when I shot this, just after work, feeling slightly tired. P.S. Lost my semi-final. I played rubbish. Oh well, you know. Rubbish at games and rubbish at snooker. So, we have now got 3,965 backers with 8 days to go. That's a grand total of 1,388,635. Excellent. Well done, everybody, so far. Ooh, it's getting close, isn't it? And then we've only got to wait a year, possibly two, depending on whether we get any delays, whether we get our Spectrum next through. And, of course, uh, when I do do my show, I will probably do a next reveal. Ah, why not? Everybody else does. Besides, I've been looking forward to one for four years. Possibly three years. I missed the first Kickstarter, didn't I? Shame. I know. Terrible. Anyway, so today we're going to review the Monty Mole games. Oh, don't you just love the AY sound of Body Commander? Oh, just the way it starts. Right. Um, yeah, we're going to choose which one's the best. Um, you've got Monty is innocent. No, we can't count that as a Monty Mole game, can we? Do we have to review that one? <laughs> Monty, Monty Mole, Monty on the run and I'll be the same Monty. Those are the Monty games that I wanted to review today. Monty is innocent. Let's be honest, that's a load of bleep. So I had to put my own bleep in there because I haven't got like a, an editing system. So, without no further to do, let's do some dodgy camera work and zoom in on today's show. Oh yeah, I forgot to eliminate my keyboard today. Oh well, I suppose you need to break. Zoom time. How's that? Nice, decent picture, a bit more. There we go, should we black out totally the borders? Okay, today's computer of choice, guess what? It's my 1 to 8K beloved toast rack. And it's getting very warm very fast. Oh well, perhaps I should have thought that one through. And the peripheral that's always plugged in the back is the V2 smart card. Um, and I've prepared it ready, believe it or not. Yep. So, without no further ado, which one is the best? And we're not going to be playing that one, are we? So we've got Monty's Innocent, Monty on the run, and Wanted Monty Mole. We'll start in the order that they was released, so we'll go for Wanted Monty Mole. 
And that is the loading screen, and that cheesy AY sound, it uh, drags on a bit, doesn't it? So we're going to get past that. So the keys on this, if I remember rightly, Q, A, O, P, and M. And... Ah. And that's the problem with this game. When you die, it's okay just on that first level. <laughs> And to die straight away. Just shows you how pathetic at games I can really be when I'm trying to record a small YouTube video. Oh, you jumped now, do you? <laughs> Jump, jumped after I died, how about that? I always wait for the acorn to disappear because you get chased by none other than this fat Coleman who's potentially supposed to be Arthur Scargill, I believe. Well, as soon as you enter this game, you notice the graphics are a great little platform game. Go around collecting all pieces of coal. Note, towards the end of the game, you need to collect them in the right order, otherwise there's a little door that opens, and if you collect them wrong, you don't get through that door. No. Nice colourful use of screens. This game was well made for back in the day. I mean, it blew my mind at the time. Do they progressively get better? Do they progressively get better? Well, you'd think so, wouldn't you? And the most annoying thing about this is this random crusher. I always wait for a double bounce and then I'll go. Go. <laughs> I survived, I survived. Sometimes that's more luck than judgment, isn't it? That allows you to collect that, which allows you to collect everything. Nah, not me. You know, I do prefer playing this game on the rubber keyboard spectrum. It just seems a bit quicker and faster um, than the the one to 8K. There's just a bit of a clunky press. Um, but yeah, whoops. Remember, you can walk off certain edges, but not all of them. Timing's what we need. Be careful timing is probably not what I've got. And if I click that, I should be able to click that falling brick and stop it clonking me on my head. Some would say a clonk on the head with a brick is probably a good thing for me. I'm not going to bother putting it. We don't need to, do we, really? Oh! oh. No, I didn't get hit by falling bricks, I got hit by rubble instead. Nice! Oh, I forgot you. So, <laughs> why did Monty die so fast? Well, it's probably because I was playing it. <laughs> That's Monty Mole! So let's move on to the second... Ah. Oh. Monty's innocent. Do we have to? Do we? Do we really have to? <sighs> it's not a Monty Mole game, is it? Really? Playing the Sam Stout. Cheesy, terrible music, terrible graphics, keyboard rubbish. Oh look, fancy that I've got three lives left. That's a shame. Oh look, I've only got two lives left. Oh no. Oh dear, what a shame. 
And that was that one. <laughs> so moving on to Monty on the run. I'm sorry, I couldn't. I couldn't. The, the game is... Well, it's not the best, is it? Let's be honest. <laughs> it isn't. This feels more like a Monty game. I remember watching lo loading this for the first time and getting three different loading screens and a big advert for Crash. <laughs> and... Uh, Yep, that was a loading screen, if I remember rightly, you have to pick the right items to start with. And of course it's a bit slow on the reaction, you're holding the button forever to say, yeah, okay, come on. And that cheesy tune is the bleeper sound, which was so dull, <laughs> but the only thing that lets this game down really. We're not going to bother collecting the stuff because we're not going to complete it, so yeah. So, here we go. Once again, just like most Monty Mal games, this is fairly colourful. We love the way he uh, does his little gamble. That was a nice touch. So this is number two. Once again, very colourful screens. Oh. Oh, how to be dreadful at a game and enjoy it. Should we get back down there? No, we'll, we'll go a bit further, shall we? I remember not to click that parcel. It was partly for you, but uh, you click that parcel, you die! And uh, with me, that won't be long. I'm already down to how many lives? I've got three lives still. Remarkable. I used to be quite good at these, but. Um, I wasn't lying, honestly. <laughs> I think I got close to completing this one, but until I um, decided to find the multi face poke. <laughs> ha! That was lucky, wasn't it? The good thing is they don't crush you on the way up, which I like. <laughs> but they do crush you on the way down. Oh, I don't know what they're going to make that do you. Oh, come on. Collision control, have a word. I was well clear of that. Oh, okay, I wasn't. <laughs> I was directly underneath that. And that was Monty on the run. Nice, honestly. So let's go to the third and final Monty Mole instalment. Unless they do another Monty Mole, which I've suggested they should do for the next. Um, let's be honest. Peter Hallop wouldn't even need to do any coding, just put his name to it and I'd buy it. I have a story and everything. Why not? Monty Mole wants to make the island that he's retired on more environmentally friendly so he comes back to the mainland to raise capital so he can have wind farm fitted and solar pa uh, panels to save the environment and reduce his carbon footprint on the way yeah there you go there's a story there why not do it and he can return to his island and we can be done with him we want a monty mole going for the next i'll read his own monty unfortunately I'm going to use the 1 uh, k version another day. I'm going to use the 48k version here. And the 1 to 8k AY sound is great. The bleeper sound here is okay, not bad. It's still a bit clunky. We're going to start again. Once again, very colourful. Curiously though, the keys are QWPL as opposed to uh, QAOP. It always catches me out when I first start playing this. This game was absolutely amazing when I first bought it. One of the first games I actually bought on cassette myself. Because obviously growing up I wasn't the richest kid in the world. I 
I should get quite far with this game today. Did I just say that? So this is the first one where you collect an air ticket. I will show you that in a minute because I will get there because I'm pretty good at that. He's a bit of an alcoholic on this one, is Monty. I've got to wait for the alcohol to wear, to wear it off. <laughs> He's a wine drinker. Probably dangerous if you get that wrong. Oh, that's deadly. Oh, no! Oh, I've never in doubt, was it, folks? Did you think I was going to buy a life better? My home for light reflexes sorted me out there. I think I'll collect the extra life before they end up losing it. Oh look! I know what you're thinking, Nom, he loses a life by now. Well, stay tuned for more! <laughs> That's coming up, I promise you. I'll make a silly mistake. I always do. <laughs> I'll mistime my jump or do something badly. I want to look absolutely professional here, aren't I? So... Ooh. Told you. <laughs> yes! I ain't never in doubt, was it? I remember you got seconds. Oh no. Too late! If you miss that when you, before he falls, you're not getting up there. Way to get rid <laughs> So we have now seen all three. Oops. Three air tickets. I know what you're thinking. After many happy hours of playing this game, it looks like I know what I'm doing. But believe me, don't be fooled. <laughs> I actually do. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a... I tend to do the spinny type, slippy little thing there and end up dying. Bit of colour clash. Bit of colour clash there as well. I told you I'd do a stupid move, didn't I? And there it is! Delivered it! As predicted by Retro Robbins. The Mistaker. And what mistake is I making? Why don't I? Oh no, I know why I don't know. I'm not going to push it any further than that, because that would be a hat trick and a half, wouldn't it, for me? <laughs> Free talk. Three times over the same blow. Oh. And here it is. <laughs> the stupid mistake. Oh, I've made a mistake. I want a mistake as a maker. I remember playing this at one time and I was doing quite well. And uh, I think one of these things didn't move and. Oh yeah, it's a lot, long way around. You want a drink, Monty? Oh, okay. Can you improve on this game? Hmm. Not really. I think... Is that the man of the or just something? No, 
The end is near, everybody. <laughs> I've got into dodgy me mode. Ticket, I? Yeah. Remember this? I forgot it. when I first got here. I didn't know where. To, didn't realise you could walk through that. And I learned the hard way, of course. I want to use a funky dance if you click that record, doesn't he? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Oh, I was lucky to survive that. Oh dear. Okay, we get the general idea. <laughs> I lose my lives pretty quickly. So let's pause the AY sound for a second. And let's pause you. Ready to poke you if I have to. Okay. So there you go. There's all the Monty Mole games, except for the Monty's Innocent one, which is. left said nothing <laughs> which one is the best well let's rate them shall we to start with monty mole wanted monty mole that was the first one in the series it was quite revolutionary it was a petition about the minor strike that's what it was based on nicking the bucket nicking the goal um or whether it was in support of the miners it was a time when Thatcher Thatcher Milk Snatcher, when she, <laughs> that's what we used to sing in the playground, remember that? Thatcher Thatcher Milk Snatcher, that's when she was Minister of Education and stopped the free milk for kids at uh, a certain age, if I remember rightly. Um, but I'm showing my age now. So, yeah, I'd give that definitely a, for a platformer, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Um, Monty on the Run, slightly better graphics, a little bit laggy. Um, yeah, the you know they're all pretty damn good these games for platformers. There's no getting about them. If you have never played them, you ought to give them a go because for the platformers you don't get much better than that really. Um, I'm going to give that a eight eight and a half out of ten. And of course, I'll be the same, Monty. Um, we'll come to that in a minute. Monty is innocent. I'll give that a five out of ten. I'm sorry, but it's not that good. Sorry, it's the worst one of the lot. So that's in fourth place. Um, Monty Mole, I'm going to put... If, it's got it's got to be quite high because, you know, but unfortunately, I'm going to see Monty on the run slightly better. Do you know? So it's edged it. So uh, Monty Mole's going to be in third place. And you know where this is leading, don't you? Without no shadow of a doubt, I'll be the same Monty. The final leg was in... No uncertain terms, the best, without no shadow of a doubt, 10 out of 10, platformer, AY sound, addictiveness, playability, he'd had it all and it was great, even right down to the way, um, I like the way it loaded with the black and white bars, I like the way games load, different games load different ways and that sort of fascinates me, and uh, yeah, so, from Metro Robbins... That's all I've got for you today, a bit of a short show, but it was a Monty special, so let's uh, put them in order. I'll be the same Monty, that is my favourite, 10 out of 10, that's a Retro Robin special, and that's what we name in them, if they get a full 10 marks, it's a Retro Robin special. Second place, Monty on the run, long time loading with three different uh, loading screens, uh, logos. Uh, all the logos are all well done, especially El Vida San Monte. And that I'm going to give uh, 8 and a half out of 10, which breaks it into second place. Just pipping Monty Mole, uh, Wanted Monty Mole, which I gave a, a rating of 8 into third place. And I've only rated this just so that Monty Mole isn't in last place. And Monty is in it, I'm giving it a 5 out of 10, basically because it's something that I never want to see again. <laughs> it's rubbish. Oh, no, honestly, it's rubbish. If you like it, I do apologise. But remember, this is only my opinion. Uh, you don't have to agree with it. However, you know, 
if you do, that's good. I'm glad you do. You, me and you see eye to eye. And trust me, that's probably not a good thing. So, yeah, once again. <laughs> From Retro Robins, it's goodbye from now, and thank you all for watching, and if you haven't seen me before, please try and uh, see a few of uh, my videos, um, there may be some content in there you do like, obviously I'm going to remind you of games that time forgot, um, maybe remind you of games that you used to play and you forgot about yourself and fancy having another go on them, who knows. Um, so, if you enjoy my show, please subscribe as always, and I'll see you again in the future, and do a few more videos obviously before the week is over. I've got plenty of content to go at, as you know, from my beloved Crash Magazine. In the meantime, you all take care, and thank you for watching.